This is the choke. When you push back, it's off. Pull it out, it's on. When it's cool, you'll have to pull it full choke and then adjust it in a little bit to get it run right to where it gets warmed up and then you can gradually take the choke off and get it adjusted where it runs the best for the weather conditions. <clears throat> this is a throttle. It springs back. You just hook it with your finger and pull it. Always check to make sure you have oil pressure. It's a dry sump system. You do not want to run without oil pressure. If you have oil, don't have oil pressure, turn it off immediately. I'm using the starter box, turn the switch on and push the starter button. If you don't have fuel primed up to the engine yet, you might have to crank it for a little bit, but don't continuously crank the starter. This little electric motor here that's the starter is really not made for a 100% duty cycle, meaning if you crank and crank on it, you're gonna burn it up. Engine should fire pretty easily. If it's not firing easily, then there's something else amiss. I would check the wires for the ignition system. Check to make sure you have the fuel hooked up and that it's flowing correctly. You'll see the fuel start to draw here as you crank. And the choke, of course, if you have, don't have the choke on and you're trying to crank it to run it, uh, when it's cold, it's not gonna run immediately.